Hello and welcome to this video lecture on creating a macro, the planning process. Now macros should be well thought out and planned in advance. You want to make sure that you know exactly what your intentions are, what you want to accomplish with your macro. Once you've determined that, practice the steps a few times. This will allow you to ensure that you're doing it in the most efficient way, that you're not making mistakes. Other things to consider before you create your macro is the name of the macro. You want a name that is descriptive so that you can easily tell at a glance from the name of the macro what the purpose is. You also need to consider do you want a shortcut key combination for your macro. Keeping in mind that any shortcuts you tie to a macro will override any keyboard shortcuts within Excel if you use one that is a common shortcut key. You also need to put in a description when creating your macro. So as you are starting your macro, create a description that is meaningful. The last thing to consider once you have created your macro is where you would like it to be stored. You can store all of your macros in the workbook that you plan to use them in and that you are creating them in. This works great if you only use that workbook for that macro. If you have a macro that you would like to use in multiple workbooks, then it's best to store it in another location. For those macros that you would like to make available to other workbooks, you may choose to store the macro in your personal macro workbook. This is something that's hidden within your version of Excel, so every time you start your version of Excel, it becomes available. That works really well if you are using a standalone computer. But you may want to store them in a separate new workbook that's just for your macros so that you can make that workbook available and open it up every time you're working on workbook that you would like to use the macro in regardless of what computer you're using. That sums up this planning process for macros.